Hey guys, what's going on? TurboDude555 here, and this is my video about my current streaming setup because a lot of people have been interested in my dual PC setup, how it works, what's involved, and whatnot. So, I am going to demonstrate. Uh, those of you who have followed my Twitch and my YouTube have probably seen the old giant red PC case that I used to have that was really quite wide. Now, the streaming PC itself is in a much smaller, nice, tidy little thermal take unit, which is quite nice. Um, again, this setup is still quite ghetto at the moment. I have a screen there that doesn't even have a stand. <laughs> it's sort of rested up for the Twitch chat and whatnot. So just so you can see my current stats once my camera decides to focus. My gaming PC uses the i5-5820K, which has a modest overclock of 4.2 gigahertz across all the cores, which is all I need really for most gaming and the streaming PC has a far more, um, less than modest, 4.4. Restart your computer to finish updates, which is really handy in the middle of a video. There's a much hardier 4.4 gigahertz overclock, and that's on the i5-4690K. I was going to get an i7, but I had this i5 kind of lying around, as it were. And uh, a larger overclock has meant that I can stream on uh, OBS at 60 FPS without face cam unfortunately, but I can do that again later once I can afford an i7. For now, this has done me pretty decently so far. Uh, no issues to mention. At the moment, I will show you how the dual stream setup works in a minute. I'm gonna explain now how this all works. So I'm gonna come around the back here. Now, you won't be able to see it because I'm not gonna take the side panel off, but in here is an Avermedia. Oh, you can just about see it, look. Maybe if the camera decides to focus, there you go. Eva Media Live Gamer HD, and this this is the light version because the other one was really unnecessary. Had loads of features that I wasn't ever going to use. So how does it work? Well, it's quite simple. In the gaming PC, I have two outputs. Well, in fact, I have more, but I'm not going to use those. The HDMI is what goes into the input of the Live Gamer Capture Card. So, in essence, I've duplicated my screen. So now using this DVI to HDMI converter. This goes to my gaming monitor so I can see what's going on, play the game obviously, and the Ava Media takes the second screen, as it were, by duplicating your desktop screen, it's capturing the same screen again. So regardless of what I'm recording, whether it be in windowed mode or full screen, whatever, I can record absolutely everything, including the desktop, without needing you know, to sort out any extra features or make sure something runs in full screen window to make sure OBS captures it. None of that. OBS can just capture straight away with the live stream, I think it's called, the live stream capture software that's now available for the Ava Media. Uh, the other thing to mention is I do actually also capture the audio to the Live Gamer HD using this little 3.5 jack into its audio in, and then OBS can just duplicate the sound to the desktop so I can hear it from this PC itself. Not the gaming PC. I need to get an analog headset so I could just plug that in and hear everything from the PC that I'm gaming on. But for now, needs must, needs must, I do it from here. So that works quite nicely. Also, HDMI audio is sometimes a little bit buggy in the capture, so to make sure there isn't like a one second or two second delay from what I'm playing to what's happening on the stream, because that's a bit weird, because then I'll hear it two seconds after it happened, and so will the stream. This just makes sure there isn't any nasty surprises. So that's how that works. The only important thing with the audio is, is that the receiving end has to be in the same file format. So if you've got your audio on your gaming PC as like um, DVD quality, 4800 hertz or whatever, then you need to make sure that on this PC it's also the same, just to make sure you don't have any audio glitches. So that's how that works, really simple. It is not as complicated as uh, some other streamers have uh, made out. So what we do in here, and just so you can see, and so I make sure I get my names correct in the downloads. Yeah, this is the stream engine software that you get from uh, the Live Gamer HD to make sure you can stream. Basically what this does is, when uh, you go into this to make sure you're capturing everything as you want it to be, in my case at 60 FPS and 1280 by 720, decent audio bit rate in two megabits for decent enough video for 
the quality of my stream at the moment because I'm not like a huge streamer right now to make sure everybody can watch with no issues on tablets or mobile phones. I just keep it at two megabits just for now. The 60 FPS obviously been really nice for any fast paced shooter games or racing or anything like that. So with this said and done and activated, once you know open OBS on your streaming PC, like so, if I go into preview mode now, uh, oh, my headset's not plugged in on this PC, so there would have been no sound. So let's get my audio cable, plug that in. As you can see, I'm using USB USB headset. I should really get an analog one, just to uh, not have to use a streaming PC for the audio. So yeah, now that's opened. If I preview the stream now, you see it captures exactly what is going on on my desktop right now. So if I lean back a little bit, so it's capturing everything from the desktop, absolutely everything. So yes, all the desktop, all the icons and everything. So basically if I was to then open, say, um, I don't know, let's not open H1Z1, let's go on um, Oddworld, Evolve. I'll tell you what, let's just open Evolve, that'll do. I'll also open FRAP so you can see the frames per second too. Should be handy. And when Evolve decides to load, you'll see how this system works. Yeah, whenever you're ready, Evolve. Whenever you're ready. Ah, there we go. So I've got it set up to skip all the intros other than that one, which is handy. And as you can see, it is capturing exactly that on the stream. So now my gaming PC gets to do all the gaming work and not having to do any of the streaming work. I've just realized I've got Fraps and Nvidia Shadowplay both working at the same time there. So I've got two, two 60s up in the corner. So yeah, let's sign in, and then you can see how it all how it all works. Sorry about the video quality, guys, because phone cameras aren't great for recording, are they? So as you can hear, the audio is actually coming out of my USB speakers, are covered in red fluff. So yeah, so now I can get a steady 60 FPS no matter what's going on because my gaming PC is just doing the gaming and the streaming slave is doing all the streaming. So yeah, this is a really good method. You don't need to go on a massive budget. There's no graphics card in, in the streaming slave. It's just literally an i5 overclocked. And uh, yeah, that lets me get 60 FPS. A two megabyte stream. So yeah, that's how it is. That's how my stream is at the moment, guys. And uh, also, this means I can use the capture card for capturing any videos in um, in um, the Ava Media Rec Central. So I can record in 1080p for YouTube, or 720p 60fps for YouTube, or as I tend to do, just record in 720 60fps, uh, skiggle it up for 1080p or 4K, so it looks get looks great for everyone. And means I always get 60fps as long as the game uh, <laughs> runs at 60fps. So basically, with this with this setup with the uh, GTX 980, I can use Shadowplay as well to stream or record, which is handy. But mostly, this is handy because all the gaming is done on the gaming PC right here, and then this does all the video encoding and everything else. So yeah, it's a great setup, guys. Um, if you're serious about recording stuff for YouTube, like really serious or really serious about getting into your Twitch streaming, then this this is a viable option that doesn't break the bank quite too much. Uh, thanks for watching guys if it helped or if you've got any questions let me know and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thanks for watching guys take it easy goodbye